Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sunday is being enjoyed today, and uh, in the morning I received a call from Bahawalpur, and the advocate was saying that uh, there are many flaws in the constitution and uh, legal framework of Pakistan. for the insurity to the right of life and liberty in Pakistan and the discussion was uh, going on with him and I felt it necessary to share the views and uh, the related case laws and the related discussion in the gossip manner to all the friends. Dear friends, you know, our constitutional superior courts can correct a wrong in the exercise of their constitutional judicial powers. You know, high courts of all the provinces are empowered under Article 199 of the Constitution of Pakistan, 1973. And you know, August Supreme Court of Pakistan is empowered in the case of public importance under Article 184 to correct any wrong for the public importance, for the public interest. Dear friends, you know, in the criminal law, certain precautionary measures are there for ensuring security of the right to life and liberty of a person in Pakistan. There are some rules of evidence which exclude the admissibility of confession made before or in presence of police officer or police upper-level officer or lower-level officers. That are enshrined under Article 37, Article 38 and Article 39, Kanune Shahadat Order 1984. And uh, any type of admission, any type of con extrajudicial confession before the police or under the public functionaries, nothing else, no more, not admissible. And Karune Shahadat Order 1984 supported. Settled principle under Article 39, Article 38, and Article 39, Karune Shahadat Order 1984 puts the extrajudicial confession before the police or any investigation agency zero non admissible and you know the burden of proving the case to the hilt is on the prosecution settled principle of administration of criminal justice system in Pakistan and the accused you know enjoys the status of the favored blue eye child of law an accused is allowed to take various and even conflicting defenses he can take every defense he can retract from any statement he has been the accused has been given the lessons to tell a lie many a many a many a times because he is the favorite Bilu I child of law. And Bilu I child accused could not be stopped to take defenses, to change his statement. He can change everywhere, every stage. He can take every defense. As prosecution has to prove its case beyond the shadow of doubt, you know.
and it is considered obligation of court you know to extend the benefit to accused if it finds any type of reasonable possibility of innocence of accused that is discernible from record even if not pleaded even the double protection of innocence presumption of innocence is awarded to the accused person the rule about presumption of innocence of the accused and extension of the benefit of doubt to him is meant to protect the right of life and liberty against the motivated encroachments upon an undue loss of life and liberty of an accused person in pakistan a friend of mine which uh, i have learned he was saying that uh, in pakistan being an accused is more beneficial than to be a complainant this notion has been interpreted in muhammad sharif versus muhammad jawez alias jeda teldi and other five others in pld 1976 Supreme Court of Pakistan page 452 and uh, you people know article 10 of the constitution of pakistan 1973 provide certain safeguards against curtailment of liberty of a person required in a criminal case and courts dealing with such matters are required to keep these in mind as such all are equal before law equality before law that has been interpreted in the rehan case rehan versus the state reported 2009 scmr page 181 you people know criminal courts are supposed to protect and defend life and liberty of citizens against unlawful and illegal acts an accused is given the presumption of innocence till the charge is proved in the court by the prosecution this proposed notion has been interpreted in the landmark judgment of muhammad aslam case that was the muhammad aslam versus uh, district police officer rawal pindi reported in 2009 scmr page 141 and dear friends you know if a person is detained in either illegal or improper custody writ of habeas corpus under article 199 is available in the high court of that province besides all this provisions of section 491 crpc code of criminal procedure 1898 gives such a power to the session judge in a district similar provisions may be found in section 100 and section 1552 of the criminal procedure code 1898 out of these proceedings and remedies that under section 100 crpc lies with the magistrate which means that remedies against the action de- determinantal to the right to life and liberty are available at every level of the hierarchy of the judicator in pakistan even at the magistrate level dear friends you know it is magistrate before whom an accused is produced within 24 hours of his arrest and he is authorized to discharge the accused if evidence against him is deficient he can discharge he has the power to discharge he will not give any type of remand and if he is giving the physical remand he will have to describe the reasons behind allowing the physical remand and it has been held by the court that in order to curtail liberty of a person by way of arrest in the criminal cases 
there must be some incriminating material and no person can be arrested automatically after registration of FIR against him. Even in 2009, 2019 um, and 2018, last year, I have read thousands uh, of the different uh, articles in the uh, different uh, magazines and different uh, material that uh, after FIR, unless crimin incriminating material is not available, you can't arrest the accused person. If there is sufficient evidence, sufficient incriminating material against the accused, then you should arrest the accused. You know, Pakistan, Punjab Police, Sin Police, KPK, Balochistan, all the police departments are following the police rules 1934. And police rule 1934, rule number 25.2 of the police rule 1934 is saying no one should be arrested unless sufficient incriminating material is available on the record then he will be arrested otherwise no arrest you people know that has been interpreted in the Khizar Hayat case a landmark case I feel Every criminal liar should uh, uh, study this landmark judgment. Uh, Hizar Hayat versus Inspector General of Police, Punjab, PLD 2005, Law or I Court, page 470. And Moinuddin case, Moinuddin versus the State, 2008, PCRLJ, page 216. Dear friends, you know, life and liberty was often discussed together as synonymous. It was held in the case of uh, Shehzad Mozan. Every deprivation of liberty in the form of arrest in order to be legal must necessarily be preceded by some apparent incriminating material and proposed sufficient evidence on the record. Otherwise, no arrest. That has been interpreted in the Shehzad, Mozan and others versus the state, 2004 MLD, page 1541. Dear friends, certain acts adversely affecting the public health and here by the public life be it through falling of some public spring or reservoir making the noxious to the atmosphere and sale of noxious and adulterated food, bad food or other items of the public use are all made offenses under the chapter number 14 of the Pakistan Penal Code 1860. You people know Public nuisance and negligent acts that are prone to spreading some hazardous diseases and epidemic are also punishable under the chapter 14th of the Pakistan Penal Code 1860. And these offenses are made punishable as such for the reason of the danger or hazard created by the accused person to the public life even though there may not be some actual loss and injury caused to an individual. And this specific notion you can see in the chapter number 14, Pakistan Penal Code 1860. Dear friends, underlying purpose behind the chapter 14 of the Pakistan Penal Code 1860 is basically to protect the public life against the danger that some negligent acts as enumerated in the chapter 14th of the PPC may give rise to. That specific notion has been interpreted in the landmark judgment of 
انجم عرفان مسز انجم عرفان کیس مسز انجم عرفان کیس ورسز مسز انجم عرفان ورسز لاہور ڈیولپمنٹ اتھارٹی رپورٹڈ پی ایل ڈی 2002 لاہور آئی کورٹ پیج ٹریپل فائف and you people know any kind of driving that endangers human life uses of road is punishable under section 279 Pakistan Penal Code similarly a rash and negligent act or omission that endangers human life is culpable under section 337 H2 Pakistan Penal Code even the aerial firing comes under the ambit of 3372 it was the discussion that was uh, on telephone call I have uh, shared with my friend in the morning and I felt honored to suppress these uh, uh, dilapidated views and dilapidated research work <laughs> that has been done by me and I am not a researcher I am just a student of law and uh, I am not a good liar I am not a big name I am just a ever student everlasting student of law and uh, constitution of Pakistan I think 73 and uh, I hope uh, you people take my talks as an uh, gossip only don't take it serious and don't treat it as a lecture and I have uh, only uh, named the lecture law lectures by Salim Yaqub at YouTube my page just to make it easy for a search at the Google otherwise no any other motive no any other benefit is required to me thank you allah hafiz